Morning at a long-established traditional Kyoto Inn. Breakfast is ochazuke, lately a favorite among the guests. Commonly called bubuzuke in Kyoto, it is rice with hot tea poured over it and eaten with pickles and other condiments. <laughs> Bubuzke is a no-fuss dish eaten in every household, and its origins reflect a bedrock value of Kyoto life. お客さんが一生懸命あの、こしらえてくれはった、え、お米を一粒も無駄にせえへん食べ方でもありますし、京都ならではの始末するっていう精神性も非常によく現れたそういうものだと思いますね。Bubuske would be nothing without seasonal pickles. Kyoto's abundance of vegetables ensures a colorful variety. Today, toppings go beyond pickles to include various kinds of fish, and bubuzke lives on as a dish eaten every day by people all over Kyoto. Core Kyoto unravels the local spirit of frugality that gave rise to this beloved dish. This traditional inn has been welcoming tourists since 1830. Today, it has also become popular with foreign visitors. One reason for this is its special breakfast menu. Guests can request bubuzke for their morning meal. The spread includes grilled fish and Japanese omelette. Pickles and six other toppings, such as flavored eel and salmon flakes, are served for guests to sprinkle on the rice as they like. Then, hot green tea is poured over the top. The bubuzke has become so popular that some guests stay here just to try it. イメージが分かったと思うんですが、なんとか京都らしいご朝食を召し上がっていただけないかということで、お試しで出させていただきましたら、お客様の方にかなりご好評いただいたということで、お店で出させていただきましたら、お客様の方にかなりご好評いただい
どんな種類出てくるんかなってすごく楽しみにしてましたボボズケ is a plain dish that is generally eaten at home and this restaurant is believed to be the first to make it their signature dish お茶漬けをやろう思って始めた店ではなくて、えっと、初代になるんですがあの甘党の店をやっておりまして朝帰りのお客様がお菓子を待ってる間にお腹減ったなんか食べるもあるかいうことであの祖母が何もありまへんけどご飯とお漬物ぐらいなら言うて出したんがまあ始まりで。まあ、噂が噂を呼ぶと言いますかねそういうお客様が増えましてそれじゃあもう思い切って商売買いみたいな感じで始めようかということでまああのお茶漬けの店を始めた。An essential component of the bubuzuke lunch at this eatery is the Japanese omelette. A rich stock of dried bonito flakes and kombu kelp is added to beaten eggs, yielding a fragrant, juicy omelette that is freshly made for each order. Customers also receive eight kinds of pickles. Care is taken to keep salt content low so people can enjoy lots of pickles without reserve. But as much loved as it is, There is a misconception surrounding the buzke. 自分どきになるとあのお茶漬けでもどうどすというお誘いの言葉があるんですけれども、これはまああの早帰ってやみたいな感じの言われ方で、ほなおきにほな呼ばれますわいうことをするとあの人は気の気管しとやとかね、まあまあそういう京都人独特のその。私らが言う行けずの元みたいなね話があるんですけどそれもともとあの今日の茶漬けという落語でまあ面白おかしくお話しなさったのがまあ広まったともうそれはあのそんなごちそうは出せまへんけれどもあの仮お食事ですどうぞ休んでいって送りやすみたいな感じのそういったおもてなしやもんですね。Bubuzke is such a part of daily life that it comes up in everyday interactions between neighbors. There is something intrinsically Kyoto about such exchanges over the sharing of a humble bowl of rice and tea. Bubuzke has been a staple Kyoto food for much longer than people imagine. In fact, its roots go back over 1,000 years to the Heian period. The tale of Genji, said to be the world's first novel, was written around that time, and it mentions rice being eaten with water poured over it. Later, tea was introduced to Japan from China, and by the Edo period in the 1600s, it was available to common folk. This was when Babuske is believed to have been born. This old building was a kimono merchant's home and place of business until around 30 years ago. It remains in the family's possession, along with an old chronicle that mentions Bubuske. Setsuko Sugimoto is the 10th generation head of the family and the custodian of the precious piece of family history. これは最中覚えと言いまして江戸時代今からだいたい170数年ほど前に、えー、私どもの先祖によって書かれた、えー、日日の、えー、暮らしの美貌録なんですねで、えー、その中に日常の毎日の、えー、食事の習わしとして、えー、朝と、えー、夜のご飯は、えー、お茶漬けと香のものというまあそういう、えー食の習わしというのがまあはっきりと出てくるんですね。で、江戸時代の人に北川森貞という人がいまして
、まあ、その文献によりますとあのやはり、えー、今日大阪では、えー、お茶漬けとお漬物というのが、まあ、常食されていたという、まあ、記述が、えー、見えますね。でその書いた時代とこの最澄防衛が書かれた時代ってちょうど時代が重なるんですね。まあ、ですので、まあ、このうちも皆と同じように、えー、お茶漬けとお漬物で食事していたと、まあ、そういうことがまあ裏付けられるという、まあ、そういう文献もあるんですね。Extravagance was issued in Kyoto's merchant houses.A meal of only rice with tea and pickles was also imbued with people's resourcefulness in a time before electricity. 上方京都大阪は、えー、昼だけって言いまして、えー、お昼に、えー、日に一度温かいご飯を炊くというまあそういうあの食習慣なんですよね。でそうしますとまあ昼は毎日温かいほかほかのご飯なんですけれども、えー、夕方と次の日の朝っていうのはあのそれをあの食べ回すわけです。でそうしますとまあそれ冷や飯に、えー、なりますね。であのご飯っていうのはあの澱粉質があのこう冷え固まるとえー、まあパサパサしますし、えー、まあ食べにくくあのなるわけですけれども、えー、でまあ江戸時代はあの当然ですけれども電子レンジですとかあの電子ジャーみたいなものもありませんからお百姓さんが一生懸命あのこしらえてくれはったお米を一粒も無駄にせえへん食べ方でもありますし過とうなったご飯を食べやすくするあのやはりその京都ならではの始末の心もまあ反映されたあの飯の食べ方ということも言えるんじゃないかなと思います。The people of Kyoto are practical, and this may explain why Bobuske has endured for so long. Practicality is also evident in the way pickles are made. Sugimoto makes her own using the same ingredients and methods as her ancestors. これは江戸時代からお漬物として毎年、えー、漬け続けてきたあのお漬物なんですけれどもこれはあの桃山大根っていうお香こうに向いたあのちょっとこのサイズの小さなお大根なんですけれどもそのお大根と米ぬかと塩だけであのつけたあのものですあのうちの古文書にも出てくるお茶漬けと甲のものえまさにその、えー、甲のものそのものなんですね京都のお茶漬けにはそれぞれのお家が自家製でつけたこのおこおこというのが、まあ、切っても切れないものということですね An essential component of Bubuske is Kyoto's wide assortment of pickled vegetables. Jakko in, a Buddhist temple in the village of Ohara in northeastern Kyoto. It is associated with a noble lady and with a certain kind of pickle. Leaves of red shiso or perilla. Thinly sliced eggplants and salt are used to make shibazuke. It is a main ingredient of the bubuske that has long been served at Jakko Inn for breakfast. The temple makes its own shibazuke. The pickle's origins date back to around the year 1200. When the mother of Emperor Antoku lived out her final years at Jakko Inn as a nun. Villagers made the great lady a present of vegetables pickled with salt and shiso leaves. Impressed by its delicious taste and beautiful color, she named it Murasaki Hazuke, or purple leaf pickle. The kanji for purple leaf can also be read as shiba. Leading to the pickle's name today. Standing outside Jakko Inn is a family run pickle shop. The owners make a variety of pickles by hand. The most popular is inevitably their shibazuke. The family has been selling it in this same spot for a hundred years. ここはね、あのシソがね、名物なんです、名産なんです。やっぱりもうお茶漬けたら、しば漬けやね。酸っぱいけど、うちは毎日食べてますし、秋が来ないです
For Ohara farmers who had been producing shiso for centuries, using the fragrant earth in pickles ensured none was wasted. Eggplants pickled with just salt and shiso take on the herb's color and aroma, and through lacto-fermentation, a distinctive sour flavor. Eight centuries after it met with the favor of the Empress Dowager, Shibazuke is now one of Kyoto's representative pickles. The neighborhood in front of Kamigamo Jinja, an important Shinto shrine in central Kyoto. This local shop has been in the pickle business for more than 200 years. It has been making and selling suguki zuke, a pickle particular to this district since its establishment. Suguki turnips with both roots and leaves and salt are the only ingredients in this lacto-fermented pickle. Its origins can be traced to Kamigamo Jinja in the second half of the 16th century. すごくスゴキ has always been grown solely in this district of Kyoto. Around 300 years ago, the priestly class shared the seeds and cultivation methods with local farmers who continue the tradition. Today, over 50 farmers in the Kamigamo district grow this traditional Kyoto vegetable. Osamu Toda is one of them. His mother, Michiko, is called the suguki expert by people in the area. For many years, Michiko peddled vegetables all over Kyoto. She now has her own stall. And these days, Osamu is in charge of pickling the suguki. これはもうスグキです。あの、もう付け上がったもんですね。畑から引いてきて出来上がるまでがだいたい<笑> Normal suguki zuke will be sold as they are, but others that don't make the grade are sold finely chopped. あの、うちの母がちょっとスグキの形が悪い時とかお漬物屋さんに卸した時にちょっと悪いスグキが出たりしてで、なんかほかしたりとかされるみたいで、でもそれがもったいないからいうことで刻んであのお客さんに売った
茶漬け始められたのは今の,あの先代のおかみさんなんですねでそのおかみさんが、まあ、うちお店に試食を出してるんですけれどもあの、まあ、旅行で来られたお客さんなんかが「いやこの漬物でお茶漬け食べたいわ」っていうのを、まあ、時々耳にされててで、まあ、そういうことでなんとか奥の座敷で。このお漬物でお茶漬け出せたらなって思ってはったんですね。で、それをまあ実現されたのがもう三十年ぐらい前でしょうか。Ever since this shop has served bubuzke as only a pickle shop can In eel cuisine, but not all the eels they procured were up to par as main dishes. Babuzke was the solution. Sold together with tea. It is one of the shop's hit products. Grilled eels are chopped and simmered for three hours in a sweet soy sauce based stock and then sprinkled with Japanese peppercorns. うなぎの佃煮みたいなの作ってたんですよ。で、それをまあお茶漬けにしたりね、熱々のご飯にのせると美味しいので、友達にも分けようかなと。で、配ったりなんかしてたんですよ。そうしてるうちに欲しいという方が増えてきて、炊き始めたのが始まりですね。うじ。South of Kyoto is a renowned tea growing area. Tea production dates back around 800 years. It was once a precious commodity, and the tea fields were controlled by the rulers of the time. Today, this town, which is synonymous with tea, has a new promotional campaign featuring bubuzke. Local restaurants are using the many varieties of locally produced tea to invent original versions of bubuzke, and the menus keep growing. This restaurant specializes in creative Japanese style cuisine. A popular item on their menu is the Uji Chazuke lunch, which features locally grown vegetables and rice produced with fewer pesticides. For the tea, customers can choose between the slightly sweet green sencha or roasted hojicha. The idea is to promote tea by making babuzke the signature dish of Uji. 
ご当地グルメを立ち上げるにあたって観光客の方がそのお店まで足を運んでいただけたらなっていうふうなことでもちろんお茶の味、まあ、これが一番味わっていただけるような出し方に心がけています。20 or so local eateries are participating in the campaign, coming up with various ideas for Babuzke. Seabream sashimi is the main topping at this restaurant. They accent the fish with their homemade miso, which goes well with green tea. A professional Kyoto cuisine chef conceived the Babuzke at his 50 year old establishment. Masaki Shimoguchi wanted to change Bobuzuke's homely image and decided on Kyoto's summer specialty, hamo or conger pike. The grilled hamo is slightly sweet and a perfect match for the fragrant tea. お茶漬け自体は常に京都の人は皆さん食べておられるんでちょっと高級感があるハモとお茶をとりあえず一回ちょっと食べていただきたいなというような形ですね。ブブズケ、The One Bowl Meal of the Common Folk is slowly changing in character。ブブズケという食べ方もまあ今でいう時短食っていうんでしょうかね、えー、まあ時間の節約にもなっていると。Inspired by the spirit of frugality that is so valued in Kyoto, this plain dish makes local people feel grateful for the variety and abundance of food with which they are blessed. A steaming bowl of rice, tea, and toppings is the essential Kyoto meal that is Bubuzuke.